This is a Bob Picard. This is a Canadian uh, whistleblower. He basically resigned in the AIIB, Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank. And then he was advised he has to flee the country right away. Okay. So literally, he fled China, mainland China. Okay. And this is when um, he, uh, he already left China. He started tweeting. And this is a tweet he said. Let's take a look at what he said. Yeah, you want me All to read I can them? Say, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you got it. Go ahead. Oh, okay. All I can say is that AIIB has one of the most toxic cultures one can possibly imagine. Western publics are not being served by the membership in AIIB. I saw with my own eyes the extent to which Chinese Communist Party hacks occupy key positions in the bank, like an in-house, listen, KGB or Gestapo's or Stasi. Okay, you, you're familiar with Stasi or KGB, like you're familiar oh. with those things, right? Mm -hmm. So these are, the, these are Russia or Nazi intelligence services. So what literally he's saying that this is intelligence operatives controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. And when you think about those words, you think about some behaviors they, they exert, right? So threat, coercions, you know, even your physical threats, you know, even they threaten to kill you if you don't comply, right? So yep. he is actually just using the KGB, yeah, to describe a CCP-controlled Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank. The most toxic cultures one can imagine. Okay, that's, that, that's a Canadian whistleblower. So how important is that? His original tweet on Twitter has been already viewed by close to 2 million viewers. Okay, so you know how big this thing is. Okay, not just in Canada, wow. but I think Americans need to know because American has been against this bank from the get go in 2016. Okay, they have been tried everything to stop CCP start their own bank, but they haven't been successful.